In this video, we're going to look at formation reactions, and formation reactions have an element and an element reacting to produce a compound. So we've got an example here where we've got copper chlorine, copper 2 chloride, and uh, or is the product. So we've got a metal and a non-metal, so it's going to form to make an ionic compound. If we look at um, copper, copper in the periodic table is here, and it is not a listed as a polyatomic element. Because it is not a polyatomic element, it's Cu solid, and chlorine is a polyatomic element. So you need to get familiar with these. These are all going to be non-metals. So chlorine is Cl2, and it's a gas. And it makes copper 2 chloride, which is CuCl2, and this is an ionic compound. Because this is an ionic compound, it's going to be made from copper 2s and chlorides. So it's got two chlorides and one copper 2. It'll make a solid because it's an ionic compound. This happens to be a balanced reaction because here I've got one copper and I have two chlorines. I have one copper and I have two chlorines. So it is balanced because I have the same number of each element in the reactants and products. But when I try to do the same thing with iron, Iron is listed as monoatomic element. Oxygen is a diatomic element. It's again listed here. Makes iron 3 oxide. And iron 3 ions have a positive 3. Oxide is a 2 negative. So I'm going to have 3 oxides and 2 iron 3s. So that's Fe2O3. Now in this case I have 1 iron and I have 2 oxygens in the reactants. I have 2 irons and one oxygen, or pardon me, three oxygens in the product. So these are not equal values. Anytime you see one of these monoatomic elements, it's easy to balance that. So I'll leave that till the end. So I want to balance my oxygens. And here I've got two and three. The lowest common multiple for two and three is six. So if I want to make the six, the only way I can do that is to change the coefficient. If I had three oxygen molecules, then I'd have 3 times 2 oxygens, so it'd be 6 oxygens. Basically, I'm saying I've got 3 of these oxygen molecules, each that has 2 atoms, so it's 6 oxygens. Here, I want to make 6 oxygens, and the only thing I can do is change the coefficient. The coefficient is the number that's in front of it, and this is like the molar amount. So 1 mole of iron reacts with 3 moles of oxygen molecules produces two moles of iron 3 oxide. So this two applies to everything in this formula. So this is going to be a four and this is going to be a six. My oxygens are equal but now my irons aren't. But again like I said this is easy to balance because this is a one I can multiply it by any number to get the number I want. So I want four I multiply it by four. So that's essentially formation reactions. Um, we'll look at decomposition reactions in the next video.